guys. So I wanted to start off today by thanking Arteza. They've sent me a 14 colors pouring acrylic starter set. It includes everything you're going to need for your first try at acrylic pouring. And we're going to test this out today. Uh, so let's do the unboxing and see what we have. Oh, wow, so organized, unlike my chaos. Uh, so first we're gonna start, we have a uh, tips and tricks guide, which is really nice to have if you've never done acrylic pouring. It shows some layering techniques or a dirty cup technique, etc., on how to layer up your cups. So this is really great to have these, uh, the small um, little pamphlet of instructions, especially if you're a first time pourer. So included in this kit is a painter's drop cloth. Very important to have something underneath your canvases when you're going to start pouring because pouring can be very messy. They've also included a nice tip palette knife. And you can use the palette knife to work in details or to swipe across your colors. Also have two sets of gloves and two Arteza cups. And what's great about these Arteza cups is, oh, and you can't see, but let me see if I can get a piece of paper behind it. Ah, we'll just use some styrofoam. What's great about these cups is there are, there you go, you can see them. Measurements, up to 10 ounces and 300 milliliters on the back side. So with their little brand name, these are great cups to use for pouring. So also included here is we've got a series of colors and we've got some titanium white, lemon yellow, vermilion red, lavender, sea green, phthalo blue, Mars black. We also have silver and gold and a neon color set. So that gives a lot of different options for the colors that you might want to use in your pour. They've also included two small rounds of wood um, which is really cool because you can actually pour on wood, drill holes in them, make them ornaments, especially for Christmas time. They'd be a fun gift to give out. And then over here, we have silver and gold holographic glitter. So that should be fun um, to use in your pour as well. Uh, so you can... Um, Put little designs on there or sprinkle a little in one area of the pour. So next I'm going to lift this off and we're just going to put it over here. Now I thought this was really cool. I'm going to move the box all the way off the, there. So in the box they have um, two panels and sorry my little mat is a little dirty. But they have these. And um, this is awesome because you always want to keep your um, canvases elevated. And they've included two cotton canvases, canvas panels. There's one in black and they fit perfectly over, over this. And then there's also one in white. So we are going to have some fun today. Um, and we're going to pour on both of these and see what we come up with. Um, and go from there. Anyways, if you guys are interested in this bundle for first time starting for pouring or for some kids that you might have you want to give for Christmas so that they can have some fun, um, you can connect to it through my Arteza links down below. And don't forget, use my coupon code to um, get a percentage off. So let's get a painting and uh, we'll see you in a moment. Good morning. So uh, we're here working with Arteza's uh, ready to pour box. Um, and this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas board. So we'll see how it does. Um, I have other canvases and I thought about pouring on those, but I really wanted to give a test to their ready pour canvases uh, and see how they hold up to moisture on them. A lot of times uh, these type of canvases will bow and I'm really curious on how this uh, works out. 
and we are going to start. What we're gonna do is I have one of Mixed Media's four ounce, um, I believe it's, yeah, it's four ounces, uh, split cups, and I'm going to layer my paints in here, and we are going to uh, either do a ring pour or a traveling straight pour or a traveling ring pour, who knows? But we're gonna give it a go. Um, so the colors I'm going to use, I'm gonna go with the red hues, purples, the bright colors, and um, some gold, maybe some black, uh, and go with this color sequence. So I'm gonna start by putting my black on this side. And we'll do the gold on the other side. It's about the same height. A little more gold in here. Maybe this is the six ounce one. And in this, I'm going to layer ah, decisions. I think I'm gonna go with the neon pink. Not gonna do it all. I'm actually gonna layer the middle with, yeah. No, maybe I'm gonna do the purple on top of that because I want a little bit of contrast in between the. And I'm trying to layer it. It's a little hard in a cup. There we go. With purple. And then we're gonna do the red on top of the purple. I think that's what we're gonna utilize there. Oops. Nope, the pink. Ah. And now I'm gonna come in with my black and I'm gonna put that on top of the gold. And the gold on top of the black because you only live once so why not all right so see if I can get more black out of this one. Oh, that's about it all right so those are the colors I am using so excited, I haven't used this before. And if you're looking for a split cup, this cup is fantastic. It's got a spout, it's got some cutouts here to make sure everything flows together well. And I'm really curious on how this works out. So we are going to give this a go. And we'll start with the red, obviously. Start with a ring pour now. All right, now I'm just gonna get, I love that, that looks amazing. Um, I'm just gonna let this come out now. I just have a little bit in here. let it sit and I have my palette knife and I think I'm going to do some yellow around the edge and I'm going to get my torch there we go 
So I really want to um, <clears throat> save up what's going over there. So I'm gonna use my yellow because I did not put a base coat on this, but I also don't wanna stretch it out so bad that it's not gonna hold its composition much. So we'll take the palette knife. I love this little thing. Now you guys can find um, Arteza's product links down below their websites uh, in my video description box. All right. I almost want to come down the center, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Leave it just as is. I don't want it going over just yet. Over there is fine. <laughs> That's just so cool. I'm so used to having edges to hold on to and I don't have that with this panel board. like that just the way it is that is really pretty and uh, yeah I'm super super happy with that so I'm gonna transfer that into the other room and when we get back we're gonna do one in blues Okay, so here we go. I have neon blue, a phalo blue, neon green, a titanium white, and I'm going to add some silver to this, and we'll see how this uh, works out. I'm just gonna put my gloves on, and we'll be ready to go, I think, for the most part. Let's get a piece of paper towel here. Or two. And draw my cup out. This thing is wonderful. The, I like, um, I've bought a couple of split cups and I have tried them out. And actually, these ones I feel are a lot better ergonomically for your hand. Other than that, you're like holding this big thing. It has your hand out really, really far and overstretched and it's hard to keep control of the cup at that point. But with uh, Mixed Media's split cups, the design is narrow at the bottom, wider at the top. 
They've got this open area here. She's got her, you know, channel um, initials here, mixed media girl, but everything flows beautifully. So I have to say that this is probably one of, um, it's probably the best set that I've um, used um, just because the way it's designed is by far so much better than any other one out there. Um, so be sure to check her out. I'll put her link also in my video description box. Um, she's got uh, her own channel if you don't know who she is. And then she also has her Etsy shop. So I will try and um, link that into the video description. Um, but on to these fabulous paints. This is a really great set to get somebody who's interested in trying acrylic pouring. And um, this is a no mix situation. Everything is already ready to pour. Um, kids could have fun with these. Uh, they come with the uh, little wooden circles and they can do, you know, ornaments or just, you know, resin it with a heat sensitive resin, I believe. And uh, you could use it as a small cup coaster who knows, or just some functional art. Other than that, let's get back to the canvas. We're gonna use the three chamber split cup again. <clears throat> and I'm going to do my white on this side. I may regret that. Um, and silver on this side and then I'm going to put the silver on top of this side and I'm going to put the white on top of this side Feel like all right there we go and now I'm going to layer the sea green or maybe I'll do yellow let's do a little bit of yellow in here and now the sea green And I'm going to do the neon green on top of that. I don't want my colors mixing. So what I'm doing is putting them up against the back here on the back wall so that they start creating a layer. And then once that layer spreads out more, I can get in there with the rest of the paint. <gasps> ah. Well, not really gonna worry about it. And then I'm gonna come in with neon blue. And because we're up higher, I can do it that way. Let's see if we have more blue left over. This might be the eight ounce cup. Man, I'm not doing very well with my, uh, <laughs> All right. Now, yes, my center chamber <clears throat> is uh, fuller. So this will automatically come out sooner than the white and silver <clears throat> on the sides. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm gonna let it out.
I decided to stop putting it <clears throat> in the center there because I wanted more blue. And I don't know if the blue is going to show up because it was mainly on the top layers. And I'm just filling my cup to make sure I can rinse it after. I'll come in and we'll torch it. The silver is beautiful. I don't use silver very often, but this silver is really, really pretty. All right. Now I'm gonna use my quick little palette knife. Ooh, those are so pretty colors. I'm just grabbing the edge here. I was gonna do a flip cup. Um, I saw Heather Matters uh, live the other night on Friday night. If you missed it, go check out that. Um, but she does a live every Friday night at five o'clock and she was testing this set as well. And I believe she did a ring pour and then she also did a flip cup, which um, the layers in the flip cup when on the canvas, it was really, really pretty. Um, I think she referred to it as Northern Lights in a sense, and it, it looked like that. So I just figured, if you wanna do a flip cup, you guys have seen that before with this product. Um, so I figured I'd do a split cup, ring pour, straight pour, traveling, whatnot pour, and here we go. So, I'm just babbling at this point. Well, the lines are gorgeous. Unfortunately, I gotta let it go. Actually really like how soft this is in the center. Um, it reminds me of Dr. Seuss. And I got I think I got a little something right here. Yep. There we go. You may have to stretch that out. This is really sweet. Now I am gonna come in here and fill in the blue on the edge. I do like their uh, titanium white. Gives a nice, pretty effect. All right, so I'm gonna take my gloves off sort of too early because I have to transfer it into the other room, but that's okay. We're gonna give it a torch. I'm 
and we'll bring you guys in. Definitely a different color in person than on the screen right now. So this is actually more of a sea green, not a gray color. That's what I can see, but maybe in the video it'll come out normal. All right, we'll bring you in for a close up. All right, so here are the dried results. This is absolutely gorgeous. And this is 24 hours later after the pouring. I just love this. This is so, so cool. And the gold is so shiny and it's left this beautiful sheen on the painting. As a finish, let me go this way. There we go. I think I, I like this area the most. I love the red in there. So, um, it definitely dried darker than I had expected. And then the next one, which I just love this one. Look at that silver. turned out really, really cool. <clears throat> and that is the final results for that. So we have this one and that one. All right, so that is it. I just figured I'd show you the dried results of my alpaca llama, whatever he might be. <laughs> And uh, I really loved using Mixed Media Girls uh, Split Cup. And I'm looking forward to creating more pieces with that as well. And uh, the Arteza Ready to Pour set was lots of fun. And uh, I recommend that. Check out the uh, link to the Arteza products in the video description, as well as Mixed Media Girls Etsy page where you can buy split cups there. Have a great day, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.